Hey guys, Drew here. Welcome back to Z Code System. Great to have you back here. Today, we're going to do something a little bit different than what we normally do in my normal videos. Uh, I like to talk about soccer. We usually talk about picks for, for various soccer tournaments and soccer leagues. But for this video today, we're going to talk about the upcoming boxing match between Jake Paul and Anderson Silva, which is going to take place on Saturday night, October 29th, 2022 in Glendale, Arizona. And this is a, a fight that I'm sure splits... Uh, a lot of the boxing community, there are a lot of fans of boxing and MMA and combat sports that uh, are excited to watch um, YouTuber, influencer turned boxer Jake Paul take on former UFC fighter Anderson Silva. While I'm sure there are a lot of boxing traditionalists, if you will, who are not quite as enamored with this fight. But because this is getting a lot of press, because this is uh, something that uh, is gaining in popularity, I thought that why not? cover this because the sports books are, uh, at least a lot of the major sports books are giving odds on this fight between Jake Paul and Anderson Silva. And so this is going to be uh, an exciting event taking place on Saturday night, like I said, October the 28th. And there's going to be eight matches on the main card, which starts, I believe, around eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time in the US. So we're going to talk about that in just a second, go over some odds for this. I'm going to give you a pick for the fight uh, between Paul and Anderson Silva. But of course, go over to the Z Code System blog now and you can read up on everything there that we post. Uh, picks for games. We're going to have the, some World Series picks coming up. We're going to have lots of World Cup uh, content coming up over the course of November, December when the FIFA World Cup kicks off. Of course, NBA is going on. NHL is going on. NFL is going on. So there's so much going on right now in the sports world Sports world uh, that you're not going to want to miss that. And of course, we're always posting videos here on our YouTube channel. So if you haven't yet, Hit the thumbs up on this video, like the channel, subscribe to the channel, make sure that your notifications are on so you can stay up to date on everything that we post here on all the different sports and uh, be a part of that Z Code system community. And to be honest, you can also always stay up to date on everything that we post via the videos here. Now, soon, uh, just when this video posts and you're watching this video, the blog will also be up on the zcodesystem.com backslash blog, so you can read up about this fight, uh, about everything that I wrote there. But like I said before, Jake Paul, Anderson Silva headlining this fight coming up, and now let's take a look at the betting odds, courtesy of my favorite sports book, Bet365. Okay, so you can see there, Bet365, uh, a lot of boxing going on uh, over the this weekend, and to be honest, the world of boxing has been littered with fantastic fights over the last, I would say, three to six months. There have been some awesome fights uh, going on in the boxing world, and uh, it's really a great time to be a boxing fan and boxing better, and there's going to be some more good fights coming up. Tyson Fury is going to be returning to the ring in December. Uh, that should be great. Uh, Derek Chisora, uh, he'll be fighting him uh, when they uh, they mix things up in December. So that should be a very, very good fight. And possibly we're going to see Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury uh, 3 uh, maybe next year. I mean, fingers crossed for a lot of fight fans. But regardless, we're not talking about those fighters today. We're talking about Jake Paul and Anderson Silva. Now, if we just scroll down here to uh, the fight, which is taking place, like I said, on October the 29th, uh, because I am located in the UK. This fight will actually be taking place early on Sunday morning at 4 a.m. is the anticipated time, which, um, sorry, I'm not going to be staying up for that. Uh, but this is going to be a, a very good card, I guess you could say. There's going to be some interesting fights on there. Uh, YouTuber Dr. Mike is going to be fighting on that card uh, as well as, and if I scroll there, right there, uh, former NFL player LeVon Bell taking on MMA fighter Uriah Hall. Uh, LeVon Bell trying to uh, get into the, the, the boxing game and, uh, I guess, fight his way up the ranks. Uh, so that's going to be an interesting card or an interesting fight on the card there. So it's a bit of a mix and match of different bouts that are going to be going on um, on Saturday night in Glendale, when we have this, uh, when we have this event, and as you can see there, we've got the odds on this. Jake Paul to win is at minus one ninety, while Anderson Silva is plus one sixty. Now, a lot of people will say, "Wait, wait a second! Anderson Silva is an ex MMA fighter, a fantastic fighter. Why is he the underdog going into this fight?" Because, well, he is. Well, the answer is very simple. For one, Jake Paul is five and zero in 
the squared circle since starting a boxing career in January 2020. Anderson Silva, he is uh, a bit experienced with boxing. I believe he's 3-1. Uh, that's his record in boxing. But those boxing matches that Anderson Silva has fought in are spread out really over the last 25 years. Uh, so he's not been necessarily a consistent fighter. Um, now, also with that, consider Anderson Silva is 40. Sorry, Anderson, yeah. Sorry, Anderson Silva is 47 years old going into this fight. 47 years old. He's nearly 50. Jake Paul, 25. So Silva has a lot of mileage on that body in the fight game. Uh, a lot of mileage from MMA fights, a lot of headshots that he's taken. Uh, over the years, Jake Paul is uh, an infant compared to Anderson Silva in the fight game. So another reason why Silva is such an underdog. And then also Silva was an MMA fighter. He had his success in the octagon and his best success was really over 10 years ago. Silva's last uh, few fights in the UFC, he, I believe he lost his last three consecutive fights uh, before uh, leaving the UFC. So his best years in UFC pretty much ended around 2012, 2013. Uh, and, and he's kind of, you know, just bouncing around now. Uh, and this is really a great cash grab for him uh, in, uh, in in a boxing match against a, a YouTuber, an influencer who fancies himself as a fighter. So Silva, definitely the underdog. Again, he, he, he played, he, he fought in UFC, he fought in MMA and that is completely different than the boxing game. He's able to grapple. He's able to uh, submit fighters. You know, he doesn't have to rely totally on fist and hand strikes. Boxing is a totally different world than the UFC. And that's why you don't want to see, that's why you don't see boxers crossing over into the UFC. You don't see boxers crossing over into amateur style wrestling. You see UFC guys crossing over into boxing. Those boxers are afraid of fighting those UFC guys on the MMA terms. So that's why we don't see that. Now, that's, again, why Jake Paul is the heavy favorite going into this fight. Now, as you can see there, as we look down more at some of the uh, possible outcomes for this fight, we can see that uh, things may be a little bit more even. You may get a great, uh, potentially great profit on betting on Jake Paul to win by KO or TKO or disqualification at plus 225. And that's because... The, the bookmakers, they're expecting this maybe to go to a decision. Uh, but you can see there we've got uh, Jake Paul to win 187 plus 187 by decision. That's not a bad uh, a bad bet to take. Although uh, I do think that Paul could win this by a knockout. Uh, he did win his most recent flat fight against Tyron Woodley, Tyron Woodley uh, by knockout. So I wouldn't be surprised if Jake Paul does win by KO. Uh, keep in mind, Anderson Silva, this was, this was uh, reported during the week that he was knocked out twice during a sparring match in the buildup to fighting Jake Paul on Saturday night. So, you know, that's a little bit worrying. Like I said before, he's got a lot of mileage on that body. He's taken a lot of shots to the head over the years in MMA. So, you know, consider that Paul could knock him out. Paul's got some, you know, some some highly experienced coaches backing him in this. He's got a lot of money to put into, you know, his boxing training. So I don't see any reason why Jake Paul will lose this fight to a former UFC great in Anderson Silva. So I'm backing Paul to win this fight. And um, I like him to win by KO at plus 225. Now, again, decision to win by decision at plus 187, that's not a bad bet uh, to take one of those two. So that's my pick there. Now, if you are into MMA uh, fighting, not necessarily boxing, but MMA fighting, you can sign up to Z Code System right now and use the VIP club to get great tips and picks on upcoming UFC events. Now, there is a UFC event coming up this weekend as well. Uh, and I've got it right up there for you. You can see that uh, we have that UFC event, and we've got all of these different fights here uh, for UFC Fight Night. Uh, we've got those, so if you just click on one of those, then you've got some great information here, and you can scroll through all of these uh, this great data and use that to help you make smart expert picks. And uh, the, the Z Code system... Um, uh, data machine, if you will, uses all kinds of, of uh, data points to come up with these picks and to help you make great sports investments. So if you are a UFC better, then you're going to want to get on to that to help you make great 
picks on UFC Fight Night, which is coming up this weekend as well. And uh, if you're a boxing fan, I guess you could have that on one screen. And if you got the UFC on the other screen, then you won't miss out on any of the action going on as we have a lot of big time fights coming up over the next few months. And I guess we'll be uh, we'll be headlined or, or capped off by the big Tyson Fury fight coming up in December. I want to say that's December 3rd when he fights Derek Chisora. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me here at Z Code System here on YouTube today. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. What do you think? Who's going to win this fight this weekend? Is it going to be Jake Paul? Is it going to be Anderson Silva? Of course, like I said before, I'm backing Jake Paul to win by KO in this fight. Um, you know, Let me know what you think down below. Again, hit that thumbs up to the video like the video subscribe to the channel as well please and stay up to date on everything we do here at z code system and also um click on that so you get the subscribe uh, click on the little bell there to get the uh the uh, notifications every time we post loads of videos here every week giving you picks on all the sports that are going on all right guys that's gonna do it for me i'll see you later here on z code system on youtube